everyone, and welcome to Truth Noir. Uh, we have an old friend of the show coming back as a guest today. Uh, it's been a while, um, but he is the founder of a outreach program based in East LA called Operation Street Kids, uh, among many other uh, outreach programs and projects for at-risk youth, and uh, we're just pleased as punch to have him back again. <laughs> uh, thanks for coming back, sir, mm -hmm. Joseph Sanchez. Um, Thank been, you, mi amigo. Yeah, man, we've been talking about while, these yeah. things a lot over the years, mm -hmm. and it's good to have you back. It's good to see you up and running and taking care of business. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, we yeah. took a little break for a second, but we're back and running, so. <laughs> Very cool. So, um, so tell us a little bit about Operation Street Kids and how it's progressed over the years. Well, you know, we've been, uh, um, we launched Operation Street Kids about a good maybe 20 years. Um, <laughs> prior to that, you know, I did a thing called Every Day's Christmas, with, um, mm. and um, I traveled throughout the entire country looking at the the armpit of America. Sure, they, <laughs> they would call the ghettos and stuff like that. And I went into various uh, neighborhoods and began giving away thousands of toys and computers, and, and then we would bring in celebrities to, to communicate, and we would begin to give a message of hope. You know, we became hope producers and, and dream builders. Yeah. And as I traveled throughout the country, you know, there was a turn for me that I began to see a, a dire need um, in the, the needs in the communities. As a matter of fact, uh, one of the places was, uh, um, you know, in Miami and uh, in Liberty City, which uh, the, the one that did Moonlight. And that's oh, okay. where he came out of. And that's where his story came out of. Well, I, we, I, w I went there. We had like 10,000 people there. And kids, and you know, so basically, you know, um, I began to see the need, and the issue was how can I fulfill that need? At least as, how can I become a little hinge to open big doors sure. for these kids? You know, and basically, you know, I saw that uh, the power of, of um, the internet. I saw the power of, of uh, film. I saw the power of TV. Uh, as um, as I was walking into a store with my son. I walked in there in Miami and the gentleman says, oh my God, and he called his wife over and he says, get whatever you want, you know, and I'm looking at him and he says, you know, um, Jojo Sanchez, you know, and, and I was wondering, and I had, I had done a show here in LA, you know, I was in a talk show, and he, they saw the talk show and they began following the work that I did. Really? So the power <laughs> of media became sure, a yeah. window a window of hope for me you know yeah. and, and uh, you know the that's why I love what you do you know you offer this medium you know um, uh, fast forward you know um, when I was growing up in the Republic of East LA you know and um, <laughs> as, I, as I put it you know um, you know I was with my sister who used to be um, a singer and she was like 14, 15 years of age. I was 14, 12, 13, around there. And she was with a, a group called the Rayettes. It was Little Ray and the Rayettes. And they used to call Little Ray was more like the, the Brown, James Brown. He would do a James okay. Brown. <laughs> and the Beatles, when they came to uh, California, uh, they did their first gig. Um, there was a certain group that was going to open up for them. And they canceled out because that group said, you know what, we ought to, they ought to be opening up for us, okay? Well, yeah, I think I've heard that. Story. Yeah, <laughs> and, and, and what they did is they found uh, a group in, in uh, Boyle Heights, and it was Cannibal and the Headhunters. Okay, and yeah, these yeah. Are, yeah, yeah, and, and, and uh, um, you know, and so at that time, that era, Midnight, there was a lot of Latinos coming around, you know, they were doing their music and rock and roll and all that. Mm -hmm. in, in, in the, the, the L.A. base where the Latino hubs were at. And, and uh, we went to Hollywood and went to Hollywood. She was recording her first um, 45 back in the day, right? Yeah. And, and, um, and she got in the studio and started singing, you know, and, um, and all of a sudden they loved it, you know. And when they came out of the box, you know, um, studio box, you know, um, recording box, they started talking to her and, and praising her. And, 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 and then when she started talking, she started speaking in broken English. And I literally saw a wall go up on these, these gentlemen. And so did she. Right, and, yeah. and, and the record deal didn't go by and, and they, they go through. 
she was devastated, you know. You know, she acted like it wasn't, but I I knew. And and I I, I said to myself, this will never happen again to any young person with a dream. Yeah. And that's where it begun, you know. And for such a stupid reason what? too, that like ignorance. Because you know, English wasn't your first language and so it doesn't matter how good you are at something. Yeah, it's amazing. Nevertheless, you know, I found that, you know, if I could in some way open the door, then that's what I'm going to do. And so um, just to bring you up to par, you know. So, so that's kind of when the foundation started absolutely. for you. Yeah, that's least. exactly when it started. You know, I was yeah. only 14, you know, and, but I knew I always had it inside me in entertainment. You know, my uncle used to, um, you know, he ran with um, the notorious Pancho Villa. He was one of his okay. pistoleros, you know, the gunman. Yeah. And my grandmother was, was, his sister was the actual, um, she was the, the chef. For, and, and at that particular time, they, it, it's interesting because in L.A., many, many of them were in that era with Pancho Villa. There were four and against that crossed the border and came down here. And you'd be surprised how many Latinos you, you would talk to and, and you ask them, where's your grand grandparent? And Sonora, <laughs> you know, so, yeah. so basically, you know, uh, within me, you know, I've always had, you know, um, I saw Hollywood and I saw the power of it, but I never saw someone with my color. So today, you know, uh, we launched a department which is called Project Ace, All Colors Entertainment, okay? And that's what it's all about because I found out that you know it's you know even white white people white is a color too, okay. Yep. And ninety five percent of the people in this country, you know, are not living as millionaires. Absolutely, you, not. they're not. You know, so <laughs> so I mean, you know, there has to be a respect and fairness. And I wanted I wanted to find out how can we, you know, establish something for them. And I found that you know developing. A, a partnership with um, Santa Monica College, the film department there, they just built a $35 million all-purpose film. Everything you want to know about film, it's all there. So we started taking young people and they started shadowing all the departments. And for the last five years, we established uh, um, uh, a foundation there uh, through Operation Street Kids and, and uh, we developed it where we um, have developed already 20 to 21 short films. Four oh, of them wow. have gone to can. And these are young people that shadow the college students. And the beauty of it, the beauty of it is that you have people that come from Japan, India. They're all college students that come from all over the world. Sure, yeah. And when we collaborate, these little kids, these kids here from, from the, from Neighborhoods that are not, you know, it's not Beverly Hills. Not the most okay. affluent. Yeah, yeah, you know, <laughs> and and we put them together with these individuals that come from these foreign fields and different places all over the world. It's a it's a beautiful thing when you see them working together. Yeah, like it's not a big deal. <laughs> right, exactly, you know, and it breaks down that racial conflict. Sure. I mean, they they begin to you know eat together. They begin to. Go to, the, go to the store to get, I mean, it's amazing what happens. Right. <laughs> and so, you know, in that, you know, I began getting many calls and, you know, and uh, um, as a matter of fact, next, um, next month we're taking a tour of 40 young people from uh, um, the um, Highland Film Festival. Uh, we're oh, okay. we're, we're going to take uh, uh, 40 of the high schools from Lincoln High School on a tour because I'm developing tours now for these young people to go to the sets and see everything in action at Santa Maria College. So what it does, Very cool. it gives it gives them. It, we put them in. in, in we got we got them at 14 years old with their feet at, at a you know, at a school. Secondly, you know, we 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 put them in a position where they, hey, I can do that. You know, and I think we have a photograph of Oscar. Yeah, I was we were here say, with Oscar. Yeah, last he was time, on the right? show uh, probably um, a couple years ago. Yeah, you, you, this is Oscar. Yeah. Now, this is uh, Oscar, um, this particular film. We got uh, Oscar very interesting. Oscar, um, at 16, his best friend and he were walking in South Central, and a car drives up, and they shot his friend in the head and killed him. Um, it devastated uh, uh, Oscar and the mother, you know. She said, we're packing and we're getting out of here. So, you know, where are they, they go to East L.A. now? I mean, like, you know, <laughs> come on. And, and uh, you know, they ended up uh, really much in poverty, you know. And and, uh, and one day he's in the bus and uh, someone's following me with a camera. And, you know, and 
Long story short, you know, he's sitting there, you know, at 10 in the afternoon, in the morning, and he says, oh, and I like that camera. I like to run with those cameras. And I looked at him and I said, here's my card. If you're serious, let me know. And sure enough, in about four months, he gives me a jingle, right? <laughs> yeah. and, and I told him, what were you doing in the bus at 10 when you should be in school? Oh, oh you. And I says, look, <laughs> look, let's get you back into school and I'll connect you with, with and he said, um, Really, really? And I said, yes. So the first thing we did is we took him uh, on, on, a, uh, on, on a shoot, and this was a, uh, a short called Muñecas. He fell in love with it. I mean, the guy just fell in love with it. And, uh, and so I told him, okay, graduate from high school. He graduated from high school, but as he was graduating and waiting to graduate, he was also being, he was also in the sets. He was also traveling with us. Yeah. And, and the, the dynamic of short film, you see, the dynamics of short film uh, uh, is something that I encourage anyone that wants to be an actor, they want to be involved in show business, you know, short film. Short film, is, it's amazing because in a short film, you get to do just about everything like in the feature film. Sure, yeah. You see, you see, and if you, if you, could, if you could develop a strong uh, flow uh, in short films, th th then when you're moving on, you know what I mean, you, you got the tools. Yeah, you already have the background for it. It, uh, not to say that it's any less challenging, but it it comes together a little bit quicker. Absolutely, you, you don't have the massive production time of doing ninety pages worth of screenplay. Exactly, you have ten, fifteen, you know, right. whatever the right, right, is. And so right, right, right. And much so, more and, and so, basically, we got him, and he 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 started becoming a set designer with, at the school. And before you knew it, you know, he's. And then uh, they came and they wanted to do a, a film on him, and they, so we did a short film on him. And that film's going all over the world. We should bring it here. The short went to about maybe five minutes, and bring yeah, him here. Be awesome. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me, but he, um, you know, he. Uh, um, so now he got picked up, you know, with uh, Fox uh, on sports, you know, and is working, has a gig, you know. So, so, so he's just he's making his way. Up. Absolutely, That's absolutely, awesome, man. absolutely, I like hearing stuff like absolutely. That. So that you know, so our whole thing is to you know, give an opportunity to these young people that don't have the, the resources financially. They're not gonna get caught up, you know, in student loans, you know. And I came to the point that, you know what, I'm not a fundraiser. I'm, I'm not, you know, someone that's gonna go there and start doing, you know, grants and all that. That's not my task. My task is to remain focused in building the character and the development sure. of that young person. And so, um, and recently, you know, we, we, we just got, the, um, you know, we got, you know, we got blessed, you know, um, I received a, a call from um, Shia LaBeouf, uh, uh, his, um, he wrote... From, uh, from the Transformer. Transformer, movie, yes. Right? Yeah. Uh, he basically wrote his story um, and put it on paper. Incredible story, you know, and, and uh, they were looking for um, a couple of actors that never were involved in the business. So they gave me a jingle, and sure enough, you know, I went ahead. So <laughs> like, I got some people got for some, you. We got we got some support. This is oh, Shia yeah, LaBeouf. There he is. This is Deborah. Deborah uh, is a young girl that um, young lady that ran with the Main Street Crips when she was 14 years of age. Okay. She was one of the first Main Street Crips in LA, hardcore, and and um, so um, I was able to make contact with her, and today we're managing her. And she literally stole the show um, <laughs> and the feature film, which is called Honey Boy, which just got picked up. Um, it was at Sundance last uh, last couple of weeks. Yeah, and so that's Debbie. So we opened the door for her, and I think we have another another photograph there. Let's see what we got there. The, this is what this is Twigs. Uh, um, Twigs is uh, F K A Twigs. She's a major superstar in in um, overseas. And so okay. now she wanna make her debate over in acting now, you know, and uh, she does a lot of hip hop dancing and, and writing, you okay. know, and singing. Yeah, and she, she's, she's, she's huge overseas. Uh, but she was, she played Deborah's, uh, uh, so Deborah became her, her mentor. <laughs> and, oh, okay. And so you'll see it in the movie, right? But her, they, they, we, we, her name was Mama DJ. That's Mama <laughs> DJ. And, and it's hilarious uh, uh, how her and Shia LaBeouf hooked up and made it happen in the film. You know, I would say she really stole the show. Yeah, uh, but you know, you know, it's amazing. Uh, let's see what else do we have here. You know, we have uh, 
this is uh, Haley. Uh, Haley was uh, um, in the, um, she was doing a lot of filming. She was a young girl, 15, 18 years of age, and trying to find her, her place in life, you know? Sure. She's now a producer, director, a screenwriter. Um, and she's uh, working on a number of projects. We got her in to be one of the actresses for the, this particular movie. Oh, Once cool. again, opening the doors for them. So, and then uh, um, this 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 here is Alma Hural in the middle, and she's the director the, uh, that directed the entire piece. Oh, awesome. Incredible, incredible director. Uh, she has a foundation where she opens doors for women to do commercials, getting and and she's very much involved in making, um, bringing hope to people that are hopeless or trying to to knock on that door and no one's opening the door. But she's there, and um, we give her props. She's a great person. She has many projects. Um, she's really much involved in wanting to get involved with the girls that are incarcerated in juvenile hall. So th this, this is just a group of, uh, of people that they have not only a passion, but they also have compassion. Yeah, and that's uh, the key. It's that second one that's short, sorely missing in yeah. uh, society these days. Yeah, so. and Child LaBeouf had really just opened his whole heart to us, and just let's see what else do we have yeah, here. Was, we have I another one. I was wondering what had uh, happened to Shia LaBeouf the, over yeah. the last couple of years. Turned out yeah. he was working with you guys. Yeah, <laughs> well, you know, it's it's he's given us the the opportunity, and we love him. Um, this this is a uh, um, Diaz, um, you know, Ken Diaz. Diaz uh, uh, is a local boy from Whittier, um, grew up with a passion of wanting to be a makeup artist. He has won a, um, an Emmy and was also... Um, oh, wow. Yeah, yeah he was... Uh, um, he basically is the cat that did uh, um, Mi Familia, which is a very well classical movie back in the day. Um, he uh, did... Uh, um, he did... Uh, he did Predator, and he did also um, Black Panther. Oh wow! He's the cat behind Black Panther, Ooh. and and uh, um, the parrot, uh, pirates uh, of the Caribbean. He's the cat, and that's what he does. And he was he gave us a this young lady right here. You know, um, she is a um, a young girl that came to us in the area of um, Ada. Chapman, she basically came to us as an intern, and she went there, and we had a little seminar there, and he gave them a seminar on, on the oh, set. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. And so, let's see who else we have. That's Mama DJ. And so now this was all from the same uh, film project? Yes, or, or these? yes, okay. yes. I mean, they, you know, let's go to another one. Let's see what else we have here. Yeah, this is Mario. Mario is known as Scar. Mario is a <coughs> social media superstar with uh, in the Latino and also African Americans, you know, and of, of everybody. I mean, this guy, he is he, he is he's being followed by mil literally millions, and, and um, I'm mentoring him in the route of taking him into the juvenile hall, taking him into the community. We just gave over two two thousand toys away in our money, you know, to the homeless cool. kids there, you know, and. And I was surprised when I was there. All these kids knew who he was. I mean, he, he just—he's oh, done. Wow. A, he's, he he has a, a movie right now. It's called um, Hermanos, and uh, um, it's it's a it's a gang movie, but it has a major closing on on um, on the end where the when you if you're a gang member, you look at this, it, it brings tears to your eyes. You know, oh, wow. and it's positive. That ends on an up and, note. Oh yeah, I like yeah, very movies. very very positive. <laughs> and that's what we're all about. You know, you know, it's you know. Making turning the negative to a positive. Sure. Yeah, it's Mario. Uh, Mario will be great. Um, he's he does these flowers out of candies, and then he goes to the oh, community really? and he gives them away. You know, and that show, his show, that's the one that we really landed him a major. Yeah, yeah. So he does a lot of acting. Yeah, that's one of our boys. Let's see. Very cool. Who else do we have here? Well, there they are. This is a, um, a gentleman that uh, um, his. His name, I want to pronounce his name properly, you know, is um, Ludwig, Ludwig. And uh, um, Ludwig is an actor, he's done like sh The Shield, and he just came on board and and he just started sharing his, his, um, his heart, you know, he just started sharing his heart about, you know, 
he gave these young people the do's and not to do's and you know <laughs> what not you know and the important things to know absolutely <laughs> you know and we, we thank God for him yeah yeah I think that's about it with the photographs, yeah. yeah. And there's Shia with uh, Mama DJ. Um, well, what was an honor was he came up to me and he, he said, dude, he says, dude. He goes, Mr. OG, man. He says, <laughs> he says, dude. He says, she stole the show. She brought the show, the, the, the film from here to here. That is high and, praise. And that's, that, 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 <laughs> and, 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 you know, it, and uh, so, I mean, you know, the, 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 the overall of everything really is opening the doors for these young people. We're not looking at, I'm not looking at, okay, you're going to be a superstar, Michael Jackson, you're going to be a, you know, da, 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 Katy Perry. No, no, no. The, I, I introduce them to their backyard. Dude, this is your backyard yeah, right here. Hollywood is in the backyard. This is their backyard. Let them play in their yard. Sure. You know, let them play. <laughs> but at the same time, they have to, they, they have to it's called show business. You can show me you can rap. You can show me that you have talent, but but I, I'm I'm talking about the business. Yeah. You know, I mean, I, I you know I rolled out and, and started mentoring Little Richard. You good golly, Miss Molly. Yeah. He used to have his mother living up here in Pasadena, and, and later on, I'll tell that story. That's another story. But anyway, <laughs> um, I had him come to East LA, and we did one of the largest, one of the first largest massive gang gang rally. I, I had every gang member you, you could think of, every gang, and, and um, not only East LA, came from Orange County. We oh, had over 15,000 people there. I had wow. a good problem. We had no room to put them in there. <laughs> and and uh, um, you know, you got a, a lot of dream killers, you know, and a lot of my so-called mentors, you know, they oh, you better you better do it in sight of the hall because it's it, it holds you know a thousand people, and you're gonna look silly where it holds 15. And and I said no. I had a dream. I have focus. Yeah, like no, we got okay, it. Okay, you know, I got it right in here. You know, I saw, yeah. I saw what's going to happen, and sure enough, the people came by the thousands, and, and that pretty much got me with Connie Shung. Remember Connie Shung? Oh yeah, the, yeah. yeah so the Connie, reporter, right? the reporter. Yeah. She came. Larry Carroll. Every TV program came, and and before I knew it, I'm traveling all over the country, you know, and doing the same thing, you know, and not losing that focus. So basically, That's we've awesome, been busy. Man. You know, we've been busy. We're working on, on a number of projects right I, now. Yeah. I wanted to ask you, because uh, it seems to be uh, something that happened since the last time I saw you. Yeah. You have a radio show that you're doing That's now? correct. It's called the Mr. OG Show. And once again, OG is is is, it, is uh, opportunity I, giver. I, I know. I like how these yeah. things have multiple meanings. Absolutely. You. You know, <laughs> op opportunity. And you know, that happened because I went to a prison. Um, where um, Nash, uh, Crosby, Stills, and Nash, uh, they, they performed or what have you. But I went to this prison and I took over a hundred kids there, okay? And, and, uh, and when we went there, it, 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 it really struck me because they saw me on the field, the prisoners, all right? These are adults. They're doing 35 years to life, right? And they're up there. And they all started yelling, oh, gee, oh, gee, oh, gee. Well, <laughs> when I got to the auditorium to speak, the, the warden came up to me and says, hey, we never had it packed like this. And these guys started coming up to me, remember me, man, I'm from the projects, remember me? And I would look at them, and I remembered them. We used to do every day's Christmas in their backyard. Oh, okay. In the housing projects. And, and so I, I, I said, I said, where did I go wrong? Here's a guy that, I mean, Look at all these guys. They all came up to me and shook my hand and, you know, and keep, keep doing it, you know. And how much time are you doing? 35 lines. These guys are never, never going to get out. You know, just, right, but, yeah. but I said, you know, if I could just reach one or two, then it's worth it. Sure. And that's our mission, and that's what we're all about. The radio show is going to be um, um, where we're on the, the – it's going to be in Boyle Heights. Uh, we're going to um, launch it in the next month. And what I'm doing is I'm going to bring in the Shia LaBeouf, and I'm going to bring in these people, and we're going to talk about who gave who, who was your mentor, who gave you an op opportunity to fly. And then we talk about the yeah. power of mentoring. You know that mentoring works. It's not a prison. It's not a police. It's not a doctor. It's not higher education. You know that's going to touch the lives of these young people. It's, it's a broken heart. They have a broken heart. And the only thing that can touch a yeah. broken heart are words. And, and what you do here by communicating to these people, they got words. 
We just spoke some words to them. They just saw that there's people there that never acted before, and now they're acting. That was their dream. You see, you see so the power of, of yeah. this medium is so powerful, and that's what we've had. That we, that's what we have dedicated ourselves to. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and and also the notion that like a lot of this stuff is, is is much more accessible now. Yes. Like it's not, it's not expensive to do, like some of it is, but but a lot of it, a lot of the knowledge. Oh, technology today, the, the, the phone, everybody's a filmmaker. Yeah, you, like yeah, you don't have to have a $3,000 <laughs> camera. That's right, you, everybody's you, a filmmaker. You can make a movie yeah. on your, in fact, there was one that was actually in theaters that was done absolutely. almost completely absolutely. on iPhones. The but, times have changed, uh, you know. But yeah, no, and it's, uh, a good, uh, yeah. it's a good time to start getting and, people and, and, and involved you know, I found, in this. I found that, you know, if young people are given an opportunity to fly, they got to first learn how to fly, okay? And, and, and that's when we begin to teach them, you know, the dynamics of, um, I came up with, I'm, I'm writing a, a, a project, it's called Negative Jiggle and Positive Jiggle. Negative Jiggle is a, is a technology word, garbage in and garbage out. Yeah, it means if your programming is wrong, you're going to not Absolutely. get your desired so, so, result. So we flip it, and we flip it to, to G-I-G-O positive, which is greatness in and greatness out. Yeah. You see? And, and yeah, so basically that's, uh, that's the, the whole um, path that we chose to take. Well, I love what you're doing, Joseph, and uh, it's always a pleasure having you around. Unfortunately, the, the show's a little bit shorter <laughs> now than it was before, so we have to break. But uh, but yeah, anyone you ever want to bring down here, anything I can ever do to help? Please you know, I'm know. I'm more I'm more than willing, you know, to bring you maybe an update of what's going on on the streets, what's going on in the campuses, and and just let your your viewers, you know, give them some input on the beauty of of what they're doing. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. You you have an open invitation. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks again. Muchas gracias. It's, it's been far too long. Let's yeah. not make it so the next time. Absolutely. <laughs> all right, you guys. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for watching. And, uh, and yeah, get involved in your community if you can. Uh, it's, it's, uh, you, right. you can actually make a difference. Uh, so, um, yeah. In the meantime, we'll catch you next time. And uh, wherever you're going, get there safe. Bye. Adios.